Hello guys, uh, this is our handstand and press the handstand strength work. We want to see you all practicing at home this as much as possible to really help those elephant sit to handstands. Um, it's not going to be elephant sit work, that's later. Uh, it's just the handstand and the press to handstand work. So the first thing you're going to do is kick up to the handstand against the wall and we're going to shoulder shrug. Now when I talk about shoulder shrugs, I'm not talking about bending those arms at all. I want to see them down and up and down and up and down and up. I want to see 30 of those against the wall. Let's see if Hattie can have a go. Kick us against this part of the wall, Hattie, so we can only get there. Quickly, 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 kick up. And then tight body, and we're going to shoulder shrug. Don't bend your arms. Shoulders up, shoulders up, shoulders up, shoulders up. Good, 30 of those. Okay, our next one for our handstand uh, strength is to handstand against the wall, body against the wall. We want our nose and our toes touching the wall. They're the only things we want touching that wall, your nose and your toes. Right, Hattie, show me. Nose and toes. Good girl, pull it in. Just your toes. Oh, your chest is on the wall. Toes, nose. Keep that tummy off. Tummy off. Good try. Toes, nose, nose. Good girl, we don't want to see a pie chart, that's really good, and full draw out. We want, to, we want to be trying that and holding that position for about 30 seconds. Okay, so our next one is to try and get um, the strength of using uh, weight on our arms and then get in that handstand shape. So this is kind of not quite the elephant sit, not quite the press, somewhere in the middle. So Hattie's going to go into a frog balance. From the frog balance shape, she's going to push her legs and straddle up to that handstand. Let's have a quick go. So we hold the elephant sit. Struggle and up. Good, you did that on your own. And back down to, oh, back down to the frog balance. That could be a challenge for some of you. Let's see you doing that as many times as you can. If you can't do it once, keep practicing. Get someone to hold your hips if you can. It doesn't take a lot of strength. Just holding them to secure those hips upwards. That's a nice little one to practice. Here we go then. So, hands one side of it, feet the other side. And you're going to really softly, Cassie, try and lift those legs up into the air. And place them really softly onto that mat together. Good try. Let me help you lift your hips. Your shoulders. Go again. Shoulders over. Shoulders over. On. Good. And then shoulders over. And then off. And then shoulders over. And on. Shoulders over. And off. Shoulders over. Now you're jumping. But good try. Good try. Okay, we're going to move on now to um, a wide front support. So you're going to hold that lovely normal front support shape. And then from that normal shape, you're going to bring your arms out towards me and try and hold that shape for about 10 seconds, three times. Okay, don't get your head on foot. Lovely. It's exactly what I want to see. Really good core strength work. Okay, so the next one we're going to try, we're going to try uh, toe taps. Now, what's going to happen is our toes are going to tap our wrists. Let me explain. So, Hattie, get yourself into like a a standing shape with your hands on the floor. Good. Nearly a straddle, kind of like starred legs. She's going to bear her weight forward over her shoulders and tap one ankle, one foot on a wrist. One, just one hat and then the other one. One, then the other. And one, then the other. She's actually lifting both legs up off the same time, which is even more hard. So you just want to set one leg and then the other leg. And you aim to do as many as you can. If we can get 30, fantastic. And again, as you can notice with Hattie, she's really good actually at stacking those hips. We want them right above your shoulders. We don't want them in front. That's not going to help us. Keep practicing. Okay, we're going for elephant sit to straddle stand. Silver grade. Loads of us can have a go at it. We're holding the elephant sit. We're then pulling our stomach muscles, pulling our strength backwards, trying to get this part of our tummy right back into kind of the, our spine, pulling it backwards. And then we're aiming to lift those legs off your um, arms completely and then place them behind. Let's have a go with Hattie. Elephant sit to straddle stand. Into that elephant sit. Into the elephant sit shape. Once we're in the elephant sit, we want to be pulling up and off. Good girl. She definitely didn't put her shoulder weight on. That's absolutely fantastic. Well done. I know that elephant sits are a massive bugbear within the gym, but they are so important to be practicing. This is the perfect time to be practicing those press to handstands and those elephant sits. If we can get the two combined and work that flexibility, work that strength, we are going to be ace when we come back. So remember, come back stronger, practice these as often as you can. Say bye hats. Bye.